Hi there, I'm Graham Hunter, and welcome to this look at the Soviet campaign for Point of Two. This is based on a text based one I did. I'll put a link to my website down below where you can have a go read of it. But the important thing to know with this is it was done before there was an early end campaign. And when I got towards the end, people wanted to see me continue the fight. So I edited the files to allow me to continue, but I'm pretty sure that the unexpected thing of refreshing the German stockpiles, which means that the Germans will give a very hard fight towards the end of the game. Okay, so here we are, 1942, end of turn one, the Germans have pushed forward for two minutes, so let's get this rolling. Turn two, are two, oh, the short two week one. And you can see that they easily gobble up huge sections. Then their advance slows. And they push forward. In a nice steady line, but I'm able to hold them in a good number of places. They're coming up against the ones Kiev and Leningrad now. This is where the German advance suddenly stalls. With occasional breakthroughs, um, things go horribly wrong in the south there. But overall, I am able to hold the key cities. And then we just keep this on. You see the line becomes nice and static, and then winter arrives, and we see something of a counterattack. But I'm quite bad at this point, so the Germans are able to make some serious advances to begin with, or I begin to push them back. Slovenska has not fallen, Kiev has not fallen. I'm very happy with this line, and this is the winter offensive. And you can see the Germans fall back, and they lose a good number of troops up near Leningrad. Nice and circumference for 1942. I will take that. I reach Poskov. And I secure my line along that river. There's a couple of other breakthroughs. And here, now I'm freshening towards Riga. Now, if I could cut Riga off, I could get Army Group North, which would be great. But it's not to be German counter offensive. And then push back. And the mud arrives. Okay, so we're going up to 1942 Spring Offensive. As soon as the mud goes. The mud seems to take forever. And they're concentrating on a push on Solensk. Now, this is very interesting because they throw everything into pushing on Solensk. As you can see, they are. You know, smashing a hole in my line. But it's only on Svensk. They are obviously making a drive for Moscow. And they do manage to take the city this time. But you can see that bulge they're creating. They're not doing anything about the fact that I'm only like 100 miles from Riga from the north. Now there's a, something of an offence in the Crimea begins as well. They can. Here's the Russian bear of Alsvensk. He gets a bit of a warty nose, but yeah, it's just that one turn is perfect. And then the counter attacks begin. As you can see, they've made some good ground in the south, but I now triple and circle them. So, Army Group North, Army Group Centre, and Army Group South are under threat of being encircled at the same time. Now you can see Army Group South is getting punished. Army Group North is getting slowly whittled down, and there it's now encircled. Army Group Centre fight for the hardest, but they don't pull out of this massive little trap I've put for them. So, I'm quickly surrounded and push back. At this point, they've got nothing. I've just taken out the core of three Army Groups. And this is probably about the point where I have to pause to, like, re redo everything. Um, I make a push to Minsk, and suddenly their line forms up. And yeah, they managed to hold me here. And it's like, winter is just this grind. I've taken Konigsberg, don't notice. A nice sticky push down that little Sandsburg. That's the Konigsberg and make this lovely side. But again, we've got this massive pocket around Minsk. And I'm just itching to get into that. And you can see, like a tank unit breaks through, and then wham, they just start breaking. One, one artillery unit, that was, that just broke through the line, and they just collapsed their line like anything. As you see, uh, Marini has fallen, I mean to Budapest, and wham. 
I am, this is like 1943. I am well ahead of schedule. So, I managed to push forward there. Nice deep thrust. Berlin, well, yeah, it's looking like I take Berlin any minute now, doesn't it? And then they kind of stagnates. Another winter right. And you can see the line is just not moving. Yeah, you know, there's there's little counter pushes, I make a bit of ground, they take it back. Then I make this little push here towards Krakow, but I make it through to Breslau but those guys get encircled. I manage here to just collapse them by hundred kilometers. But that's the winter over, we're now into 1944. Big push there, but again, has to be abandoned. Load again. Like, all that, that collapse is impressive. And then look, I managed to make this encirclement and wipe out the units around Borstal. But they still have more men. Crack out and run Breslau again, gets beaten back. Now grinding forward at the smallest of margins here. Another push there. Oh, we're actually broken through at this point. Yep, Prague is now being threatened. And then you can see that was pretty much the summer offensive just got me that. 44 was just this massive grind. I mean, casualties have been taken, we're attacking everywhere, but we're just not getting there. Winter, we see some collapsing. I make some pushes on Budapest. I've taken Budapest now. And there's some advances in the north towards Rostock. But I'm just looking for any weak spot on the line at this point. Right, the kind of Hungary um, borders the way I'm making the most ground now. Then I make this lovely little single hex advance along the whole line, so they pull back for no reason. And then another push forward. Another push forward there. Vienna's now in my sights. Crush towards Berlin, but time is running out at this point. And I don't actually take Berlin by the end of the game. Which is a bit of a shame. But, yeah. It was an interesting campaign. That there was a, The triple encirclement was amazing. And will go down with my greatest moves. But, yeah. Just, I think, the extra troops just meant I couldn't break through. So, hope you enjoyed this short little video. Um, if you have, leave me a like. If you'd like me to do one where I compare the um, the video campaign, which I'll link to, then yes, I could easily do an overlay of that. But yeah, thanks so much for watching.